hit this right here. All right, actually, I, I have to walk. This place, I'm just looking at the signs right here. You can see this one here and this one here are both flat in this direction. Which says in So essentially, based on what the National Weather Service has called it, that the path tracked along here through this gas station, where you can see the canopies of this gas station have been completely destroyed and obliterated. They're, they're, they're actually piled up on the ground on the far end of the gas station being cleaned up. Off over here, we can see where the trees have been completely, not completely demolished. Oh, that's still standing out. I'm trying to see what else I can pick out. Oh, there you go. You can see here where the beam has literally been snapped in two. Uh, I'm not sure if the beams fell like that or if they, they've actually started cleaning these up, but uh, definitely the, the overall damage here is just, it's devastating and, it, and it's, it's shocking, really. Uh, I think we're gonna get in shit now. The damage to this Love's truck stop is just amazing. I've never been able to get in tight over the... You want me to shoot it? That's right. Okay. No, I, I mean, it's I, kind of a cool shot. Yeah, well, I know, I know. It actually works pretty well. I just have to keep my arm really straight. It's really hard to do. It you're, sounded you're like the like, one that you just did was fine. That was alright. It wasn't enough energy. Okay. And one, you know, one for safety. Ah, good point. Okay. The damage to this Love's truck stop is simply amazing. Now, I've never actually been able to see damage sort of so soon after the storm. Now, I'm also not an expert in tornado damage, but I just happen to have one with me. Brad's gonna tell me a little bit about exactly what happened or what he thinks happened as, as the tornado came through this area. It's really quite amazing. It's just, it's stunning, the damage. I, I'm amazed. You know, snap telephone poles. Roofs ripped off, and this is not F4 damage. I'm gonna say goodbye now. Oh my word. I can't imagine what, like, the horror these people have, would have gone through. Does it make it difficult for you as a chaser to to see this and, and think about the fact that this was a you know for for these people like you know tell me a little bit about how it how you feel as a chaser to know that the storms that we love do this kind of damage? Actually, it, it devastates me. I mean, for me, chasing is all about the thrill of the hunt, seeing the storms, but to see the devastation that it leaves behind and the, the destroyed lives that it causes, it just, it's awful. I mean, in a field away from homes, I'm fine. But when it hits something like this, where people may have been staying, where people may have sought shelter, that just breaks my heart. pretty durable but it's like squished. in this direction. This was probably sitting right over here. You've got a power pole. You've got some nails. You've got shingles. A pretty large section of a shingle. And look at this. Look how snapped that it in half. You've got trees totally bent over. Like the absolute power people experience during this storm. Not something I probably would have wanted to be under. Absolutely not. Being a safe distance away is crucial in these storms. Do you think I can stand up on the hill? Uh, I wouldn't. Just 
I'm just, I mean, you actually, you're probably okay. I just want to see what's up there. I'm running in a battery pack. Look at this. Mark, you gotta see this. We've got an air conditioner all the way over there.